Hello everybody, my name is Geek Etiquette and welcome back to Silent Hill. So, in the last episode we had finished with the hospital. Uh, I've gone the wrong way. I think I've gone the wrong way. And uh, Dahlia... Oh no, I haven't. Dahlia is, uh, it showed up and gave us a key. And that's to the antique shop, so that's where we're going to head now. Okay, so, oh, I forgot about them. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, corner. Oh, crap. Okay, I forgot about them. Ah, uh, get out. <laughs> right, so we're going to head there, which is, um, if I look on the map now, I'll show you. So we want to head up to the, um, where it says the Silent Hill Town Centre on the top right. Um, it's just above there. Here, in fact, I can show you. So it's blurred, but that's where it is. So we just basically head right. And that is horrible. That is a horrible noise. I don't know what that is. Oh crap. Uh, I hope it's not down. I think it's all the way down this way. I'm hoping. Um, and then... Oh, monkey man. Oh my goodness. And then it's this way. <gasps> no, 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 no. I can't remember what they're called, but they're horrible. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> right, so we're going up here. Yeah, so we're going straight on. So this episode, I'm going to try, there is a, there is a, like a, a little sort of mini boss, um, very soon and I will try and get to that as much as possible. This episode will have um, mostly cutscenes and horrible, horrible, horrible noises like that, eerie horribleness. Uh, the antique shop should be here somewhere very, very shortly, I hope. There it is. Okay, go. Whoop. Don't get stuck. Right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, we'll just, we'll use the key and then we'll go and uh, look at, watch the cutscenes. Uh, can I remember, that's the light button. So this actually comes into play later on. Um, there's a save point there if you wish. And what we want to be looking at here, so you can see the scratch marks. So we'll push the cabinet. That's it. Usual, you might, Harry. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I 
really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Ugh! She her eyes then. Her, like, one eye was lower than the other. She like sloth. Like, hey, you guys. Okay. Let's go in the creepiness. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Not much of a church, is it? Right, uh, so there should be a weapon here. There it is. It's a nice, uh, nice little axe, actually. Um, and I think... Do we just try and leave now? Looks like an altar. wonder what they're worshipping. I wonder what they worship. It looks like a, a kind of mask. So I think we just try and go out now. Yeah. <gasps> what the? What the deuce? Yeah, that would... I would be like, hell nah. I'm getting out here. Harry? Are you okay? No, not really. Harry? 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 Okay. So I just disappear. The hell? What the devil? Where am I? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure... Lisa... Do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. 
black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Aw, oh, hell nah. Did I pass out again? Yes, you did. Don't want to think so, but maybe this is all just going on in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Hmm, that's a theory. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake, but the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. Okay. So, we are heading to... No. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. So everything's gone to pot again. <sighs> and I think this is... This is actually the antiques shop. So we actually... We need to make our way to uh to lisa again to find out where to go uh actually i want to check my health oh crap i pressed the <gasps> no 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 get off get off get off get off oh i was about to say i want to check my health okay so we need to go over here and uh there's an entrance oh no right there right there go 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 thank goodness for that okay so I should have enough time. Hopefully if I can get this done quick enough, I should have enough time for the uh, twin feeler boss, I think it's called. Um, cool. So we're going to sort of go straight into this. This is the shopping mall thing. I'll just bring up my map just to show you. So we're in the town centre. Um, I want to head up to the top. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Yes, so we have the Otherworld TV. Daddy? Daddy? Help me. Help me. Daddy? Where are, Where are you? She said exactly the same thing on the phone. Cheryl. Yeah, would you honestly, would you trust that? Seriously? I wouldn't. Hell no. Considering that's exactly what she said. Now, uh, uh, um, good question. Right, there's a door. Oh, right, it is this side. Okay. There's a door you can go in. I think it's this one. Yes. Okay, so we can get some, some goodies in here. Um, and there's a save point as well. So that should be locked. Should be. Should be? Yes, okay. So there's a first aid kit and there's some ammo. So we'll, obviously we'll pick that up. And we will... There it is. Oh my goodness, me and the controls. Okay. Right, okay. So there's some rifle shells, which we will pick up. The rifle very, very soon. Um, I'm actually going to equip... I'm going to equip that for the time being. I don't know how much shotgun ammo I've got, but I've got a fair bit. Um, and you'll see why because the uh, the twin feeler bus. So you can see something is like eaten. It's like a uh, larvae. Oh no! I hate that bit. <laughs> Creep me out so much. Ouch! I would so die, or I'd break something. That would hurt so much, even if I'm landing on sand. So this is kind. This kind of gives me like a Native American feel. But can you see that gun there? Can you see that? Yep, we're getting it. Pick it up. Boosh, and then run. And hope you don't get hit. So, uh, right. I'm gonna aim. This this fight is, it's a bit of a pain because he does that. Right. So I think I got him three times. Then I hope. Let me just check my health. 
Yeah, we're good. Um, so there's like that poison stuff. And, oh crud. Two, three, there we go. I probably could have got him a fourth time then. But the shotgun's a little bit um, quicker, I guess. Uh, one, two, three. Ah, oh, nice. There we go. And that's that. So, that's all. Wait, is he dead? Oh, no, he isn't. I thought he was dead. Okay, maybe not then. Whoops. <laughs> oh, he is dead. Oh, okay, yes, that's right. Because he smashes that and then we can go back outside. So this has been Silent Hill. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then let me know by uh, leaving a like. And if you want to see more content like this, plus plenty of other stuff, then you can always hit that subscribe button today to get notified when a new video is released. And let me know in the comments below what your theory is, whether you think that Harry is just making this all up, whether he's been drugged maybe, or maybe he has just, you know, had a really bad knock on his head and he is unconscious. Let me know what you think. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you awesome chums in the next video. Bye! Yay, there's my little doggy again! Hi little doggy, that is so cute! <laughs> okay, I want to get these coins. Oh, it's him! I, I probably shouldn't stand here then. <gasps> Fudge! Oh!